Guys, tell me, do multivitamins really work? And do we actually need vitamins? The vitamin market is over billions and billions of pounds and dollars. Everyone wants to be fit. Everyone wants to live long. Everyone wants to have super energy levels. And everyone wants to grow their hair. Everyone wants to look young. Vitamins are making so much money that anyone can make them nowadays. I mean, I personally have taken several vitamins over the years, but have they really benefited me? Have they given me that energy levels? Have they given me good skin, good hair, good nails? Like for example, I've been taking this medication, or should I say supplement, it's called Biotin Plus, which also contains zinc and selenium. If you read the fine line, it tells you it's a high strength 12,000 micrograms Biotin. Taking two tablets of this will give me 12,000 micrograms. But do I actually need 12,000 micrograms? The recommended daily amount for biotin is actually 30 micrograms per day. So if you do the maths, I'm taking 4,000 or is it 400? More than the recommended daily amounts that I should be needing. So what is that doing to my body? Is the excess biotin being metabolized and secreted out through the urine? Why do I need that much biotin to grow my hair, my skins and my nails? What benefit is it? And what are the disadvantages and possible side effects of having too much biotin? So I would not recommend taking these medications or supplements in the long term because we just don't know the effects of taking them on the body. Now, also, we know that we have all these supplements like vitamin D, you know, vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin B, as well as magnesium. So another example is this. I thought, oh, look, I've been feeling kind of tired muscle aches because I play football, good sleep, let me try magnesium. This, by the way, is magnesium citrate, which is 300 milligrams. I need to take three tablets a day to get my 300 milligram dose. The recommended daily amount is between 400 to 420 milligrams for men. I took this for two to three weeks. Did I really feel any less fatigued? Did I feel any less muscle aches? Did it make me more sleepy? Or did it reduce my fatigue levels as they all claim to do? To be honest with you, I did not really see any significant benefits or difference from taking either the biotin or the magnesium in that regard. I felt the same. Now, could there also be a placebo effect where if we're taking vitamins psychologically, we feel better that we're taking something that might benefit our bodies? Now, there is truth that, you know, taking vitamins and supplements would actually benefit us, but would that be if we're deficient in those minerals? So, for example, if I'm low in magnesium and I'm taking magnesium supplements, I would expect to feel better because, you know, my magnesium stores are being replenished. And likewise, that would be the same for biotin if I was low in biotin. However, if I have, if I'm already getting 400 to 400 milligrams of magnesium through natural sources such as food, then what extra benefit would I get from taking magnesium supplements if I'm already taking the 400 milligrams a day? These are the questions that need asking. And this is why, you know, pharma is making so much money. TikTok, Insta, Facebook, all the social media sites are awash with lots of advertisements for all the supplements. You know, take this, you get better sleep, you get better energy levels, less fatigue. You know, all these adverts, as what it is what's making all these companies lots of money. And have we ever thought that actually I can actually get the same amount through my diet, through taking fruits, vegetables, you know, dairy products. If you're not vegetarian, meat. If you are vegetarian, there are dark green leafy vegetables and nuts that you can get natural sources of your vitamins, your zinc, your selenium, and all the other requirements that you need. Now take, for example, one of the most common supplements called Centrum. Centrum, they have all different brands. They've got Centrum 50 Plus for men, Centrum 50 Plus for women, Centrum Advanced 50 Plus, Centrum for kids, Centrum for kids bones, Centrum for pregnancy, Centrum for conception. If you go to the Centrum website, they've got at least, I would say, 15 different brands of Centrum. And there's little variance in the ingredients. It might be variance in the doses. Like maybe one central might have zinc 15, you know, or 5 milligrams. Then another different central brand might have zinc 10 milligrams. Then you might have another centrum that has zinc, magnesium, selenium, vitamin D, calcium, and is lacking iron. 
and it might have another Centrum that's got iron in it. Now, it's not for me to pick on a particular brand such as Centrum. That is just an example of how these companies are making money. Why not just put everything in one bottle? Why do I need Centrum that does not contain iron? And then I want to buy a Centrum that does contain iron. Make it make sense. So if you feel like, you know, these vitamins or minerals are benefiting you in whatever way, then please do continue taking them. But just be aware that if you're taking supplements long term, do you actually need to take it long term? For example, if I'm low in vitamin D and I take vitamin D for the last next three months, then I would assume that actually I do not need the vitamin D anymore and it's time to give it a break, especially if I'm exposed to sunlight, which gives me 80% of your natural source of vitamin D. Or I might go on a low dose of vitamin D just to maintain my vitamin D levels. That's as an example, but that's different because vitamin D is more of a hormone than an actual mineral or supplement. But in these cases that I've mentioned, it is worth reviewing. Do you actually need to take this? Can you take this for a period of time and then stop? And can you rely more on your natural food sources when it comes to taking vitamin supplements? Now, if you find that you do need to take vitamin supplements because maybe your body doesn't absorb them properly, because some of us have conditions where basically we have inflammation in our systems or intolerance where our bodies cannot absorb ions or folic acid or vitamin B12, they're constantly low, then fair enough, but you should be in constant check with your doctor to check your levels to make sure that your levels are being maintained and you're not taking on any more that you need. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, please drop some comments below.